Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. I'm more concerned this won't actually solve any problems. I agree. It just lends credence to the idea that we should care what the Chantry says. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. The city still mourns. Just a guest seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. My Lord Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. Someone will need to inform them if we are... Delayed. As you say, my lady. Stand wary, guardsman. Good people of Val Royal, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of her murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste, claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say, this is a false prophet. No servant of anything beyond his selfish greed. Enough! I will not listen to these self-serving lies. We came here to talk. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more.
Still yourself. She is beneath us. Was that display supposed to impress me? On the contrary, it wasn't for you at all. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet. You should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. What we truly need is an alliance that will seal the breach. Oh, the breach is indeed a threat. But you certainly have no power to do anything about it. But Lord Seeker, what if he really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition, less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. Do you think he can be reasoned with? I hope so. If not him, there are surely others in the Order who don't feel as he does. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. An arrow with a message? My maker, know my heart. Take from me a life of sorrow. Comfort is only yours to give. Oh, maker, where is the comfort? Look away. I have broken the chant because it comes from my heart. What have we when our divine is dead and the sky burns? Blessings of Andraste are not lost to us. They've been made flesh. Hold your tongue. I will not hear the blasphemy of a fool who claims to be sent by our holy bride. Maker, put out my eyes. I would rather blind us to this growing dark. The Templars did a 